Over the last couple of months, I have spent a great amount of time reading books that I found on this channel called Master Key Society. And the books that I've read on this channel have changed my life. They have taught me the secret sauce into getting everything that I desire. And that's what today's topic is all about. I'm going to be sharing that secret sauce with you so that you can also get anything that you desire. The very first step to is getting what you want in life is knowing exactly what it is that you want. And one mistake that many of us make, and I have been making for the longest time, is having an idea about what I want, but not being specific about what I want. This year, I have been super specific on the things that I want, and I've seen that almost everything that I've been super specific on, I have gotten this year. Now, I'll share an example with you. Over the last couple of months, I started a new business in my home country, Nigeria. And so when I started this business, obviously the goal of every business is to make profit. So I was running business as usual, you know, month after month, making profit here and there. And my goal was just, you know, I want to make money. I want to make profit and, you know, that kind of stuff, have an extra stream of income. And so this month will be good. The next month will be kind of good. The next month is kind of good. and. You know, month to month, it was good, but it wasn't like what I desired. So having gotten myself exposed to these books, I found out that one key mistake that I have been making is not being specific. So what I decided to do was put this into practice. So I got really specific on that business and I told myself, that in this month i want to make 10 million naira and at the time we, this was three months into the business we were not even close to making that kind of money but i was just specific and that was a figure that came to my head and that was a figure that i picked and so once i picked that figure every day i would tell myself i want to make 10 million naira this month in this business i want to make 10 million naira this month in this business every day morning afternoon night i would recite to just from the things I learned from the various books that I read, you know, how you have to just really affirm what you want. And so every day I would affirm it. And trust me, at the end of that month, I made 10 million Naira. Now, one of the things that, you know, looking back, that really helps me to make that money was the fact that that was deep into my consciousness. Every day I was thinking about 10 million Naira. And so I was thinking of ways to make 10 million Naira. And so different ideas that could help me make 10 million Naira was coming my way. And I was experimenting on those ideas. And lo and behold, at the end of that month, we made 10 million Naira that I would never have thought that we could make. Because left to me, I would think that, oh, month after month, a business will experience maybe 5% growth, 10% growth here and there. But knowing exactly what I wanted, knowing exactly the figure that I wanted made all of that difference. So I'm hoping that for you who has, you know, dreams and hopes that you get really specific, you know, knowing exactly what it is that you want. It's not okay for you to just say, you know, I want to be richer or I want to be slimmer or I want to lose weight or whatever it is that you might have. You have to get really specific when it comes to even fitness, right? Many of us want to lose weight. A few people want to add weight, but you know, most of us want to lose weight. You know, for the longest time, I also wanted to lose weight. Like, oh my goodness. I have gained so much pounds since having kids. And you know, it was just the desire there that, you know what, I want to lose weight. And I wasn't so serious about it. I didn't even know how many pounds I wanted to lose. And it was just a desire. And the fact that I wasn't specific, nothing really happened. But this year, I decided to be specific with my fitness, with my, you know, weight goals, my health and all of that. And I'm also seeing, you know, significant difference in that area because I'm specific. I know exactly how many pounds I want to lose this year and I'm making efforts on a week by week basis. So it's very important that if you want to achieve anything that you want, you have to pay attention to being specific, have a definite goal, know exactly what it is that you want because I've realized that that is the first step into achieving what you want in this life. Now, the second thing when it comes to getting anything we want in this life is for us to believe that we can have it. It's one thing for you to be specific about what you want. If you do not believe that you can actually attain that goal, then 
that's what's gonna happen. Because at the end of the day, one thing I've learned this year is that whatever we believe, whether it's the truth or not, is going to happen to us. So if you think you can, guess what? You will. And if you think you cannot, guess what? Then you cannot. So you've got to believe in your dream. You've got to believe in your goal. You have to believe that it's possible. Now, going back to the example that I shared earlier, when I set a goal to make 10 million, I had to believe that it was possible. And one of the mistakes that I made in the past, you know, when I think about my desires and not getting maybe some of them done, is the fact that for every time I wanted a goal, most of the time, I had to make it make sense on paper. And if it did not make sense on paper to me, there was no way it could make sense in this real world. So I'll just give up on it and be like, you know, maybe next year, maybe another time it would make sense. But this year and being exposed to so many books, I've come to realize that it's not every time that things will make sense on paper. If you believe that this is the reality that you want, you hold on to that belief and keep affirming that belief to yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. And guess what? Everything that you need to do in order for you to achieve that goal will come your way. But if you're waiting for it to make sense on paper, you're literally taking control of the entire situation. And we don't necessarily have to be in control of all things. We didn't create ourselves. You don't control the air that you breathe. You don't control so many factors. So how then do you want to like make sure that everything works out in order for you to take a step and that's one thing i've learned that not everything needs to make sense you need to know exactly what you want you need to believe that that thing is true and possible for you and just leave with it live with that belief meditate on it day and night let that thought let that goal consume everything inside of you and the ideas and everything that is necessary for you to achieve it will actually come your way. And that's what happened with this 10 million because I believe that it was possible for that business to earn 10 million. And every day I would say, it, I told my staff, you know what, this month our target is 10 million and we are gonna get it. And you know, the bookings just kept coming and coming and coming. And sometimes I'll even be shocked. I'm like, oh my goodness. We had so much bookings today. And then, you know, all the conversations were just right. The right customers were coming, the right collaborations were coming and everything was just making sense. These were things that there was no way I could have figured those things out on paper. There were some collaborations that we made that I never even knew could exist until I allowed myself to believe that it was possible for that business to make 10 million. So I want you to believe in your goals. I want you to believe in your dreams. It is possible. As long as you can think about it, it can be your reality. And you waking up and believing that this is your reality is one of the things that you need in order for you to get exactly what you want. Now, the third thing I've learned is the power of the subconscious mind. Now, I've known so much about the subconscious mind for the longest time, but I feel like I haven't really put it to play in my life like I've done this this year there is so much power inside every one of us that we can't even comprehend and it's time for us to start making use of that power now many times we call that power intuition we call that power nurture but that power exists that voice exists within us and the more we communicate and have the right communication with that voice the more things become easy for us and the more you know it becomes much easier for our goals to actually become a reality your subconscious mind is powerful it wants the great things of this life for you but many times we are fighting our subconscious mind with our conscious mind our conscious mind is what we can see what we can feel what we can touch and many times because of the experiences that we're facing on a day-to-day -day basis we let that you know blind our subconscious and we send a different signal to our subconscious mind and one thing about the subconscious mind is it doesn't know whether anything is true or lie whatever you tell it is going to take it as truth and that's why if you tell yourself that you're beautiful after a while you are going to feel that you are beautiful and you are going to become beautiful because that's what you've told your mind and your mind has no choice than to succumb to the fact that you're beautiful if you keep telling yourself that you are wealthy after a while your subconscious mind is going to accept wealth and going to start bringing ideas your way that will translate to wealth in the same light, if you keep telling yourself, I am poor, I can't make it, things are too difficult. After a while, your subconscious mind is gonna accept it as true and it's gonna say, yeah, that's really difficult. You can't do it, so don't bother. Oh yeah, things are really hard, so don't bother. Life is so unfair, don't bother. 
And before you know it, you get depressed and life is not even worth living anymore for you. So I want you to know the power that lies within you. And I want you to have careful conversations with your inner mind because your inner mind is there to guide you your inner mind is there to help you your inner mind is there to just show you the way but you have to feed it with the right information now you know this year like i said i have been diving into so many books about the mindset the mind just trying to just learn more and grow more and i decided to experiment this so a couple of weeks ago i traveled to mexico and so my computer just suddenly stopped working nothing happened it just will not work the mouse was not working the keypad was not working at some point in time it would not even come on and then I was like, you know what? I've been reading so much books. It's time for me to get this and put it into practice. And I told myself, I said, I call on the power of infinite intelligence to help me out. I am not going to experience any loss. There is no reason why this laptop should not work. So I command this laptop to begin to work. In all honesty, nothing happened. <laughs> and I'm sure you're like, oh girl, nothing happened. Okay, I'm like, I've read, I've read so many stories. It worked for them, it's gonna have to work for me. So the next day, I spoke again. I call on infinite intelligence to come to my rescue. I am not going to experience any loss. I'm not going to have to have any reason to buy a new laptop or have to repair this MacBook. You are going to work because nothing is wrong with you. Second day, nothing happened. <laughs> so this time I was still in Mexico. So I was like, you know what? Maybe by the time I get into the United States, you start to work because, you know, maybe because here yeah, we're having fun. So maybe I haven't, haven't put a lot of seriousness into it. Anyway, I get back to the United States. My laptop is still not working. I read, you know, that sometimes when you ask, you know, your subconscious mind to help you and guide you in terms of things that you need to do, sometimes those things are not going to happen right away. And, you know, it's at that point that you know the power of persistence where you have to keep repeating those words to yourself and do not give up. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna keep repeating this until it becomes the truth. And so we got back to the United States. I kept repeating it. This laptop, you're going to work. There is nothing wrong with you. Lo and behold, my laptop started to work, but the keypads were not working, <laughs> you know? I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. Now you came on but my keypad is not working. And you know, most of you that are familiar with MacBook, like we have this trackpad that if it's not working, there's nothing I can do about it. And I didn't have like the external mouse. I was like, I still cannot use this laptop. The keypad, the keyboard was not working. The trackpad was not working. I repeated it. You are going to work, right? Whatever it is that's wrong with you, you are going to work. This was leading to the fourth day, I believe. And then suddenly keypad started to work, trackpad refused to work. I continuously meditated and kept repeating that to my laptop. And in all honesty, one day I was looking at the trackpad. I was like, what could be wrong with you? And something just told me, because honestly, I have browsed on my phone to kind of find out what can I do and all of that. So even though I was speaking life into my laptop, I was still browsing to see what are the things I could do to my laptop. All of the things that I could do to my laptop required my trackpad to work. So it was basically useless. So I just kind of sat down and I was still, and I said, infinite intelligence, bring to my conscious mind the right thing that I need to do to enable this laptop to work. Lo and behold, something just told me to look down beside me and there was a cloth, you know, on the floor, one of the tops that I wore that I probably just removed and threw on the floor. And something told me, pick up that, pick up that top and wipe your laptop, like scrub your trackpad, wipe everything. In the next five minutes, my trackpad started to work. And even though like, I've told quite a number of people this story and you know, some people kind of laugh about it and all that kind of stuff. And some people were really, you know, awed by the story. The fact is it works. I believe that it was going to work and it did work. I believe that I was not going to experience any loss and it worked for me. I believed that my laptop was going to work and it worked for me. And I trusted in my subconscious mind that it was going to give me the right idea that would help me make the laptop work. And guess what? It worked. 
And even though, you know, this is just a laptop story, there are other stories that I'll share with you in subsequent videos of how I put all of this learning to practice. It works. You have so much power within you that you do not even realize. And it's high time you start putting that to work. I hope that today's video has been super helpful to you. And I hope that you build the right courage to start stretching after your goals and go after what you want. You can get anything that you want in this life. You just need to know exactly what it is that you want. You need to believe that you can get it. And you need to know that everything that is required for you to achieve that goal is inside of you through your subconscious mind and you have to put it to work. Here is me wishing you all of the best and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.